Welcome to Video Rental Chaos. Today, we're watching The Running Man. Ah! Oh. is a 1987 film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, the whole world kind of seems like it's under siege in terms of uh, being under just one big giant police state. It's kind of like it's predicting the future, man. The movie was released in 1987 and had a full budget of $27 million. Damn, Arnold. Such a sweet budget for this film. The movie was directed by the Paul Michael Glazer, also known from the hit TV series from the 1970s, Starsky and Hutch. The movie also co-stars Maria Alonso, Richard Dawson, who the fuck hired him? My personal favorite, Yafet Kodo, rest in peace, and the one, the body, Jesse Ventura. Oh yeah, steroids! Thrill me. Oh, snap. Welcome back. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to an all-new episode of the podcast that no one listens to. I know it's like, my hair is falling out. My hair. No, it's like, it's just fucking really, it's getting long, motherfuckers. And like, they got the cool head-shaved sides. So it's like, it looks like I got a buzz cut, but I really don't got a buzz cut. It's just underneath. So what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys all fucking doing this week, dude? Back on the kick again. Back on the podcast, dude. Super excited uh, to be back here, man. Be back on the show. So, um, man, cool shit going on, dude. I figured out how to convert my CDs into MP3s, dude. Congratulations, Kevin Porter. Welcome to the 21st century, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, it's been, dude, it's been, I don't know, dude. I, I, I've had this device for like so many, for a good couple years at this point. And I was kind of knew you could do something like that, but like, I just never really put it together. And like, I canceled out that fucking Apple podcast bull or the Apple like music bullshit. They pay like 10 bucks for it. So now dude, all I got to do is like convert all 250 of my fucking CDs and put them all into a flash drive. And then boom, dude, I got music for days, dude. I got music for days, dude. So it makes me feel like I'm using my CDs to its full, full advantage or whatever, you know? So like, cause I don't have a CD player in my car. Like who the fuck has a CD player in your car, man? I wish I still had a car that like had a CD player, dude. I, the, the day I had to get rid of that car, it was a sad fucking day, dude. It was a sad fucking day. So, but yeah, man, uh, just been concentrating on that, dude. So that's been like, it feels like that takes up like anytime I like remember, I'm like, oh, go put a CD in and convert it, you know, put like eight CDs on and then transfer it over to your, my computer and put it on the hard drive. And then, you know, we're good to go. So, uh, you know, I probably have gotten through like, I don't know, like 20 CDs today. I mean, it's actually moving at a pretty decent pace. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like it's dragging or anything. It feels like I, it is something that I'm going to accomplish like within the next two weeks. So, which isn't too bad. I mean, it could be worse. So I don't know. How are you guys doing ladies and gentlemen? How the fuck are you, man? Uh, that's a staple within my vocabulary. Ladies and gentlemen, I think like we've used that line for 15 fucking years, man. Not going to stop anytime soon. Yeah. I don't know, man. So I've just been doing that dude. And just like chilling in my house, man, you know, working from home kind of sucks. Cause you're kind of like by yourself and then you're kind of like, you want to just like talk shit, you know, <laughs> but like you're just by yourself and you're just kind of like, ah, it's like, I'm going to do 15 push ups, you know, push it out, dude, get up, go use the treadmill. I don't fucking know. dude. I've been trying to like, just stay active, stay active, man. Try to eat the best that I can do when I can remember to. So I don't fucking know. I've uh, been working hard. Video rental chaos drops first episode a week from tomorrow. 
If you're watching this on a Friday, dude, Saturday, September the 4th, we're dropping the very first episode on YouTube and Instagram exclusively. And those people are like, you know, people are all clamoring. They're like, oh, just fucking take this shit to TikTok. It's like, I don't want to do TikTok. I want to do the, the, the gram and YouTube, man. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos with my kids, dude. I got a 15-year-old and a 10-year-old. Dude, I'm hip with the kids, okay? And they know what they want, dude. Thrill me, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, so that's dropping very first. I feel like, dude, I feel like, I don't know. It's like coming up on premiere week, dude. Like, I don't know. It's like kind of just like uh, it's crept up on me dude, because I feel like I've been in this bubble here for like two to three months now at this point. I'm just like basically definitely the last month, dude, is like really trying to like just, you know, definitely two months. It's definitely been two months of like getting the, it took, the, it took like two, three weeks where I to get all my gear together. And then finally uh, to start shooting this shit. And now I've shot five episodes. So we got five episodes in the can, uh, the can. I know it sounds so fucking dumb. It's like, I'm going to go take a shit in the can. It's like, don't, we got film in there. It's like, shit, uh, literally shit. But, but you know, did he laugh at that joke? I'm going to fucking stab him. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. I laughed a little bit. Calm down. Calm down. It was a little funny. It was a little chuckle. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a bit of a glare. What do you say? Um, yeah, dude, five episodes, man. And five episodes that I'm I'm pretty fucking proud of, man. I think like out of all the projects I've ever done uh throughout my, you know, illustrious public access career, if you want to call it that. <laughs> illustrious career. Uh all the projects that I've done, man. I feel like this is like probably like one of my best, dude. Like I I, I truthfully feel that, dude. I'm pretty self-critical when it comes to this shit. Like I'll tell you when it sucks. And the first two episodes, man, like they were definitely learning curve episodes, man. Those were episodes where uh, we were we were figuring out exactly what the show needs to be, and then what the show needs to be is just me saying talking shit in one lines. <laughs> so like the whole process, man. It's like I don't know, dude. It's like spin this with Kevin Porter, basically, but better. <laughs> but fucking, this is like what spin this with Kevin Porter should have been fifteen fucking years ago, dude. Uh, but it's it's all about movies though. Like that's what we do. We watch movies, dude. We uh, we rent videotapes from crazy mics. Devo, we are all Devo, dude. I need to watch that, dude. I haven't watched that since I bought that uh but yeah no dude so that's like all i've been doing man so i actually haven't been able to watch like any like just chilling and watching movies or anything i feel like anytime i do watch a movie now i have to like take notes and like prepare to for the day that i you know i fucking uh destroy the, the you know whatever film it is or you know i don't know, just i'm trying to think of like uh roast roast it feels like it's like a roast in a sense dude it's like kind of like we're just roasting the movie or whatever which I know we do that with In the Mouth of Madness, but just imagine In the Mouth of Madness, but condensing it down to seven, seven minutes and it's the best of. <laughs> like, let's just imagine it like that, dude. It's literally like I'm taking like an hour's worth of fucking footage and condensing it down, like usually at 10, 10 minutes, boom, and bring it down to seven minutes. Uh, that seems to be the sweet spot. So, and then adding pictures and, you know, obviously you get to watch the movie along as I uh, riff it or whatever the fuck you want to call it, dude. Talk shit. <laughs> I don't know, dude, but it's been fun, dude. It's been fun, man. So I can't wait to drop that. Um, I don't know, man, outside of that, dude, it's just, it's been life as is, man. I need, I should go back and do some stand up comedy, but I feel like I'm so busy. You know, like I, I feel like every single day is like, okay, Monday it's like, dude, Monday, I got to watch a movie, take notes. Tuesday, I got to film it. Wednesday is typically a pickup day for, for the sketch. If I can't pick up the sketch on that Tuesday and then like Wednesday, like now it needs to be like the day I record the podcast, either, you know, either I edit on a Wednesday or either I start editing on a Wednesday and then record the podcast on a Thursday and do all the work for this podcast on a Thursday. Or I obviously do the podcast on a Wednesday and then get all the shit ready for it. Fucking Thursday. You get the fucking point, dude. We're doing shit every day. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, I could fucking work on some, some jokes and shit, but like, I think just in terms of like the load that I can handle, I feel like this is a, it's solid move, man. Cause like, I don't know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying home, which isn't necessarily a good thing, you know, but at the same time, dude, I feel like we're producing quality work. So it is what it is, man. You gotta, you gotta fucking roll, you know, like, you know, you can always come back to stand up comedy, dude. It's not like stand up comedy is going anywhere unless we, uh, we, we keep falling and falling deep into fascism and eventually we live under a police state so hey 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 those aren't my words ladies and gentlemen so i don't know um yeah dude i don't know what else is going on with you guys you guys you guys hanging in there life life is good life is good you know hanging out you're like man i'm just scrolling through instagram i just found your fucking tv show dude found your podcast bro just want to step in check in be like fuck you kev porter fuck a thumbs down bitch so 
that's like, you know, the self deprecation is coming back. It's like, talk shit about yourself. You're being too nice. I'm like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm going to watch some AE dub uh, later on tonight. You've been watching. Oh, fuck, dude. If, if, okay, we'll talk wrestling for a little bit. I, I feel like I haven't talked wrestling. I don't have an outlet for professional wrestling anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we got to bring it here, dude. There's one time we're going to fucking do it. It's got to be right now, dude. CM Punk. CM Punk. Holy shit. I should have worn my CM Punk shirt for this episode, dude. Holy shit. Did anybody watch that? Did, you, did any of you out there witness the moment that was CM Punk coming back to professional wrestling the first time since 2005? Holy shit, dude. Like, I watched it. I got fucking goosebumps, dude. Like, I'm sitting there watching it with the kids. Jameson doesn't even know who the fuck CM Punk is, dude. And fucking Jory, like, you know, Jory doesn't give a shit. And then Jessica's just making fun of it because I always make fun of her shit. So whenever we watch wrestling, she just talks shit the whole time. I'm like, whatever, shut the fuck up, bitch. You know, just like face palm her and shit. And, and so like, you know, fucking just as soon as they came into the crowd on Friday Night Rampage, dude, for AEW, dude. Shout out every Friday night on TNT. AEW is where it's at, dude. If you're not watching AEW, dude, like I don't fucking know what you're doing with your life. But if you haven't watched it, dude, I highly suggest pausing this. Go watch that and then... Feel the goosebumps on your fucking arms, dude. I don't give a shit if you're a wrestling fan or not, dude. That crowd, like 13,000 fucking, you know, it was like 13,000 people just chanting CM Punk, CM Punk. And then the fucking music hits the, I don't know, it was the worst fucking cult of personality guitar soul ever. Don't call me out, okay? Uh, but, you know, fucking uh, just cult of personality kicks in and he walks out that, that the roar which is so amazing, dude. It's like one of those moments you're like, you know you're going to remember exactly where you were when that moment happened. It's one of those just major history moments in, in professional wrestling, man. Which, you know, unfortunately, isn't necessarily something you get all the time, man. You don't get that moment every time, you know, all the time. So you definitely got to cherish that moment, dude. You definitely did because I watched it the next day and I still got goosebumps. And so they showed this dude in the crowd like that was crying. And I was like, dude, if I was there, I'd totally be crying too, dude. I'd totally be fucking crying, dude. I got so emotional over that, dude. I totally understood that. I was like, fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> dude, fuck yeah. And then Jessica was like, she started making me. She's like, are you fucking crying? I was like, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I was like, I was, I swelled up a little bit. I didn't cry though, but <clears throat> I'll fucking admit that, dude. I don't give a fuck about crying, dude. Crying's healthy as shit, dude. If you don't cry... Oh my gosh, man. You're pen <laughs> building up all that rage, man. It's not good, dude. Which is hard to have a good cry sometimes, dude. It's like you only cry for like a good 30 fucking 30 seconds to a minute. I don't know. There's some good sobs in there, but typically I guess it does the job, dude. So it filters out the system of all the bullshit. So if you don't got a podcast to, to rant on, then go cry yourself to sleep. I don't fucking know. Start a podcast, dude. Why don't you start a podcast? We'll compete. We'll have competing podcasts with all the other hundreds of thousands of podcasts that are out there dude so i don't know man just looking forward to dropping this episode here uh you know next week man you know every saturday which i don't know i don't know we may change up the day dude i don't know for some reason i feel like a saturday is like a good day to drop that i don't know maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong people are home dude people aren't doing shit they're sitting on their phone maybe that's a good time to, to drop that shit but <clears throat> Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, professional wrestling is amazing. And if you're not watching, dude, you definitely need to uh, check that shit out. So, all right, man, I think that's that's the end, dude. We're running out of steam, dude. That's that's what I tell myself, dude. It's like you go as long as you have steam. We're already like on five takes, dude. And a couple of those takes, like I went like a good ten to fifteen minutes, like, and then I stopped recording because I was just like, fuck, fuck, gotta do better, gotta do fucking better, man. Which this wasn't better. This was actually a regression in time. You're like, can I get my time back, Kevin? It's like, no, sir, no fucking refunds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.